Life is joy. Life is pain. Life is sunny. Life is rain. It's not always easy to talk about our storms, but when we do, it bears fruit. Fruit that will last in the hearts of the hero. Here's a moment of truth. With Talking Truth, where we discuss topics and issues that puts the spotlight on our life-transforming God. It's Talking Truth, where we bring truth to life. And so I wait, finding myself in the meantime, I wait, searching the mirror for signs of yesterday that have become heavy weight, leaving myself at God's beck and giving him my all, a surgical procedure necessary to withdraw the baggage, the masks, the unfinished tasks that led me to meddle in relationships left unsettled. Wow, wow. Marsha, mm -hmm. who could, could that be? Do you know the voice? I kind of know it. Do you know the face, face rather behind that voice? I think I know. And what it's is it? like a popular somebody. It's it sounds like somebody that we know, right? Yes. And <laughs> she talk about, um, you know, waiting. Wait, no, oh, no. <laughs> I don't like it either. <laughs> But today we're going to be talking about what? Winning single. single. Winning yes, single. Yes. And so I'm Diane Hansen, and with me today is Marsha Wayne. And you're watching Talking Truth. Stay right there. We're going to be sharing with you more about our guests on today's program. You are watching MTM Television, the Caribbean's largest Christian television network, taking truth to nations. Keep watching. You'll be blessed. Welcome back to Talking Truth, and we're so happy that you have stayed with us for today's program. You would have listened to the voice earlier on, and I want you to guess who is our guest today on Talking Truth. Right, Marsha? I've given you two seconds to guess who our guest today is. Me, me, me. I know. You know? Yes. Who? <laughs> yes, she got it right, but no prize. <laughs> All right, yes, we can, we can give her a prize. Well, she deserves a prize. Right, we're going to change her mind. I'm going to give her a prize. But today we have Nadine Blair on Talking Truth, and we're going to be talking about winning single. Yes, a lot of times, Martha, we tend to focus on those who are married, but today we want to put some attention on those who are single. Because single life kind of nice, you know, remember when we did single and, yeah, put a vote and, you know, the certain things. Exactly. So we say welcome to Nadine Blair. And for those who do not know, she's a popular face, right? Right across Jamaica, right across the Caribbean, right across the world. She's the program's manager at Love FM. What, Love 101 FM, yeah. right? She also is the founder and CEO of Perpetual Praise. She's a singer, a dancer, a comedian, everything mixed up in one. And people might ask, such a beautiful person, such a gifted person, yet single. You know? And I'm winning. And you are winning. You see the look this morning. I'm going to tell you, say, he ain't got nothing here. Looking fabulous. Yes. Winning single. But, but seriously, though, Nadine, I mean, you are somebody who is mature. And so you would have been single for, for quite some time. Some persons are of the opinion that singleness is misery. What are your thoughts on, on that? <laughs> but when Diane put you away, she said that weight, shall we wait, and that every weight has well, so much like misery to me. Well, wait until, wait <laughs> until you hear the rest of the poem. Okay, yes, but right. I mean, I think it's, it's no matter whether you're single yeah. or married, mm -hmm. it is what is happening in your mind. Yeah. in your heart, mm -hmm. how you perceive life, how you look at life, how you enjoy life. Mm -hmm. My mom would always say, bloom where you are planted. Yes. You know, um, you know, wherever I am, there with to be content. Right. So what use is it to sit and ball and say, me don't miss you. I well ago I will up on an aunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what's away to my show up with an aunt? Me not have nothing for my aunt, only me watch. <laughs> But, but but then yes. I can choose yes. to go into a mode of yes. poor me mm -hmm. 
which is a form of pride, and that's another message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I can choose to say, look at you, yeah. big up yourself yeah. in time. Or if not, whatever happens, I'm going to be content. And yeah. that is something that I've had to learn. Yeah. It never came overnight. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, um, you know, I'm 25, and because you all know I'm 16. You know, it's not like I was 25 and then yeah. 35, and I'm going, you know, oh gosh, you know, there were struggles. There yeah. were times when I was like, all right, I'm kind of tired now, you know? Mm -hmm. And the tired of what? Of waiting. Of waiting. I'm yeah. going with everything, and I sing, love is a beautiful yeah. thing, and me can't sing, love is a beautiful thing for yeah. myself. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. It, it takes a while to get there, yeah. and it's a journey to get there, and it doesn't mean that even where I am, yeah. the thoughts don't come. So you're married this year still enough. Hey, 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 but, but, but what do I do yes, in the waiting. wait? Right. Yeah. How do I use my time right. in the wait? Yes. How do I process those thoughts yes. when they come? Because yes. they're going to come. They they are come. Are so I know it's real. It's real. around yeah. you getting married. Oh, yeah, you see, yeah. I'm a gay got married at me there. They went into me. I'm a gay looks so nice. So hold on. Did you didn't catch the botticue? Yeah. No, I, I, actually, I said to her, I had to leave because I had a, a recording after. But I said to her, it was so funny, because when we came out of the, the church mm -hmm. and she was going into the car, mm -hmm. um, she had to have somebody hold the bucket. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so she turned around and she gave it to me. Yeah, yeah. And I, so I was laughing with her and I said, I wasn't there to catch a bucket, yeah, but you know, I yeah, took yeah, the yeah. part where you <laughs> gave it to me and I, I received, received it. On it. <laughs> But yeah, you, yeah. you, you laugh, you, mm -hmm. you think and everything, but you don't make the thoughts mm -hmm. take hammer and mm -hmm. lemonade and coffee and mm -hmm. sit down and cook, you know, mm -hmm. and become a strong, strong wall right. in your mind. And make you unhappy. Yes. yes. Um, but do you feel fulfilled being single, Nadine? Um, I, feel, I feel fulfilled being Nadine. Yes. 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 So I it's, it's coming right that. back to so, yeah. whether you're married or no married or not. Right. Are you fulfilled? You're contented yeah. in what? Where you where are. You are right. and, and many persons are looking at marriage as mm -hmm. the be all and end all. Mm -hmm. I did singles conferences for about five years. Okay. And I remember persons saying, you can't a singles conference because if you hold singles conference, you're not going to marry. Mm -hmm. No. Nothing like that. But you're living. Yes. You're living. Yes. <laughs> and you are, you are being a source of strength exactly. to me. Oh, the the right. yes. People like are the getting parties. saved. Yes. People are meeting people, and mm -hmm. that was not the the, the, the reason, right? right? People are meeting people and marrying, and then you have people coming up to me now and say, "Oh, this is the the singles conference, baby." Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you are a facilitator. There you go. <laughs> but you know, it's also preparing yourself for yes. marriage. Yeah. Because I learned a lot. Yeah. 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 I learned a There's lot. There's a place for it, and this is why we're having this program, Nadine, because a lot of time the emphasis is on marriage seminar, marriage mm -hmm. seminar, mm -hmm. um, sessions, yeah. marriage ministry, and so on and so forth. But there's a place for singleness. Yes, yes. and there's and a, a place for fact. singles ministry. Uh, but exactly. What I found was that there were, even though we had very good attendance, mm -hmm. there were still singles who they, they felt kind of weird. They don't want mm -hmm. to come because, you know, it can look like a looking man or looking, mm -hmm. you know, well, the men never cared. So but, yeah. but the thing about it, Nadine, some persons have a challenge dealing with their singleness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they see it as a negative. Yeah, they something wrong. wrong. Yes. 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 Don't yes. wrong with you. And right. the truth be told. Just a minute. Yeah, Church people, they need to stop telling people is what are wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Why, why you don't want to marry? It's true. It's sometimes, sometimes it's the peer pressure, you know, mm -hmm. because some persons are saying, why are you not married? Yes. You're this age. Why are you yes. not married? You don't find anybody. And you have the, the peer pressure from family members. Yeah. And you church. Have the from yeah. church. Yeah. And you want him look good together. Yes. Or you're a pretty, you're a nice young man. Why are you not married? that pressure yeah. and and you said something very important about the mind renewing the mind and it is a renewed mind that can keep a single there you go. because there you are <laughs> yes because there you are serving yes. other people while you are in the capacity <laughs> <laughs> no, but you are 
all his yeah, truth yeah, and yeah. he take the thing that you yeah. got up out of yourself yeah. to say look here we are all in this together let's let's go let's yeah. go let's yeah. be yeah. let's do because these things conferences are empowerment yeah. conferences yeah. so you are going through yes you want to be married but while in your waiting yeah. you are being productive and, and yes and that is and that is what a lot of people don't understand mm -hmm. they are just sitting down focusing on marriage mm -hmm. when they have the gift the talent and all that what god has given them to serve yeah. someone and yeah. sometimes it's in serving we have a find the nickel yes yes, yes. yes. Yeah. are they are the ladies yeah right? there you go so you're encouraging the sister to keep serving. Yes, <laughs> man. Yes, man. I will be a professor. Yes, man. Yes, man. We are going to serve her. <laughs> Ciao. We're going to be there. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but you're, you're right, right, you know, Martha, you know, it's important, important, that important that we maintain a good and a positive attitude. Yeah. And that is what I like about you, Nadine. The positivity that is, it's not just talking, but it moves. It's not just words but you're putting your where you, your faith into yeah. action where your belief is knowing that listen yes i'm single now but i can enjoy it i can be nadine i can be all that god has created me yeah. to be because one of the things you know because i mean we were all single before we get married and one of the things that i say to marcia on our way to studio that oftentimes we were thought or we believed that we needed another person to make us complete mm -hmm. but recognizing that we are complete in Christ. In Christ. In Christ. Right. And so important that we understand because going into a relationship broken or incomplete, you can't depend on somebody right, right. else. It's going to, to be worse exactly. It's going to be worse. That's not her word. Yeah. Yeah. But it, uh, there, there is a thing that I, I would say in, in one of my conferences, don't let your weight, W-A-I-T, become a W-E-I-G-H-T. Right. Because yes. while you're waiting, mm -hmm. you can choose to be, don't cast and, you know, but miserable, miserable yeah, and everything. Yeah. But in that place, yeah. find God. Yes. Find him more yeah. than yeah. you can as a married person. Right. And it doesn't mean that as a married person, you're not going to find God. Yeah. As a married person, God has given you the permission yeah. to, to serve your husband or serve right. your, your, your first ministry. Is, yeah. is, your right. is your spouse. As a single person, Listen, get up three, four, how much o'clock and serve the Lord. Answer. But that's what Paul <laughs> says, you know. Paul says you are better able yes. to serve the Lord yes. in your singleness because mm -hmm. when you're married, you are you are exactly please your spouse. Yes, your yes. spouse is there. And you and need yes, to you need to yes. Yes. Is the, your, your spouse is your first ministry. That's where ministry starts in your house. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it, it takes a little more out of you. Yeah. So like when you're single, you just get up and you're gone to church or whatever. When you're married, it's different. Yeah. You, you have to listen. You have to ask for money. Everywhere you go, I'm not looking in the camera. I'm not looking in the camera. I'm not looking in the camera. I'm not looking in this ring. Yes. Yes. And you cannot displease God. Please God. Because you can't be displeasing your husband. Because me, I got church. When your husband said, but I want you to spend time with, with me. me. That is honoring God. That's so it's different. <laughs> and there are blessings too in being single. But, but the thing about it, as you mentioned, wait. Because some persons, you know, they can't wait. They're thinking that the biological clock yeah. is, is ticking. I need to have a child, you know. And you would have passed the, 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 the age of no, uh, no. 15. <laughs> Oh, you should not reach there yet. Sorry, that's not, that's not for you. But just talking to persons, yeah. right? Who say, "But I'm burning. I want. There are some desires that I have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can talk about, you know. Oh yes, you know. Keep waiting. Keep enjoying. But I mean, I have to face the fact that I'm having these feelings. You know. What is your 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 recommendation? You know, to those persons who are having those feelings because they're real. Whether Christian or non-Christian, yeah. Yeah. yeah, normal people have normal feelings. Yeah, um, let's talk about the children yeah. first, and then we'll talk about mm. having sex outside of marriage. You know, um, you know, I was doing another interview the other day, and yeah. you know, the, the interviewer was asking me, "But some of us are waiting, and you know, so on. What do you really tell us? Is God not interested, and so on, so on?" So me say, "You really think that God don't interested mm -hmm. in?" As, and then I said to her, have you been praying? Mm -hmm. Like purposefully praying mm -hmm. about it? And no was the answer. And then I caught myself. I was like, 
for you know say me don't really purposefully pray mm -hmm. about it because i'm so engaged yeah. in doing this and the lighting worship and, this, this, yeah. and so forth delighting the myself yeah, i heard that yes, 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 yes. <laughs> i heard it yes, yes. yeah and and so forth so um i it comes right back to our focus yeah. mm -hmm. if we are so consumed with oh my god i want to have a baby it's okay it is natural and everything take up a feeling like a lady said when you're going to do breast exam carry your breast them go down <laughs> take up a feeling and carry it and be real with god yes god this is how you made me mm -hmm. I want to have children. I see all these people and I don't marry them. I want to please you and all of this. Talk to him about it. Yes. And all of us go marry. True. And True. all of we gonna have children. True. And and all of we going to go to God and say, God, give me 15 more years. And God say, okay, mm -hmm. here's the 15 more yeah. years. Right. And then if when the 15 more years come, you have a child that becomes a thorn mm -hmm. in your flesh. Yeah. And then you look back and you say, I better be dead. Mm -hmm. No, yes. this is the point yes. you're so, so, because yes. you yes. don't yes. know no. No. what no. God is keeping you from. from. Yes. You don't know what God is holding you from. So because the grass look nice and green mm -hmm. over the fence, you're like, boy, them look so happy. But you don't know, say so every minute them have to spray the place, got beer, water, yes. and yes. Yes. everything, yes. And, yes. And, and and those yes. come yes. in different yes. forms. Yes. Yes. And yes. so you don't know the struggle mm -hmm. that yeah. that Mr. and Mrs. Jones are having. Yes. But, and so you are there so constantly looking at it what is God saying to you how can you grow in the place that you are how can you be more for God where you are and I'm not telling you that it's easy I want to have many children so we just have them in a perpetual praise and done so all of them so you find a different channel I find a different channel I don't just have only for children and they're a blessing and they're a blessing to me you know and, and and they rise up and call me blessed too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know, so it, it it's about you have to face it. Yeah. You have, you have to, to confront it. You have yeah. to confront yeah. it. Yeah. You have to recognize it. In a real it. way. In a real in a way. way. Real way. Yeah, man, if you need real. to go and get counseling and have mm -hmm. accountability mm -hmm. there, you know, have somebody to talk with yeah. that has been there. There are, there are married persons and singles who have lost children, mm -hmm. and that's another feeling and everything. You, there me. is pain in no. different ways. Right. But honeys, please, mm -hmm. talk to dada. Talk yeah, to man. papa. Yes, he yes. Knows. Sex before marriage? We never do want to call the word in about Miss Ladia Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's something before marriage we're not supposed to. <laughs> But but um, that was another thing. I remember yes. I was doing a conference one yes. year, and one of my guests, he was on. I don't remember his name, mm -hmm. and he was like, you know, I, I'm a virgin. And you mean I'm here? Yes. Amen. And he said, I'm a virgin, mm -hmm. and I'm so you know, and, and I did this, and I made a choice, and and you could drop a pin. It was at Feltab, mm -hmm. and you know, it's carpeted. Yes. You could drop the pin on the you carpet, hear, and you hear bong. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I, I, we all just sat there going, and I'm sure in the audience it was people going, when I wish I was a virgin. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I'm mm -hmm. so happy I'm a virgin, or whatever. Mm -hmm. When it was finished, someone came to me and she said, Anthony Dean, I wish you had said something for those of us who have fallen mm -hmm. and made a mistake mm -hmm. or something. Because yeah. she, she, she was expressing how she felt oh, like it was a low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wasn't condemning, you know, but he mm -hmm. was just happy mm -hmm. in his stance. Yeah. And it would have been good to have provided balance that balance. balance. Mm -hmm. and, and so I say and encourage persons who have gone that route. Um, I remember too, I was doing a conference and on the way to the conference, the Lord said, you're going to share something. And said, oh, sure. <laughs> I don't know what he was asking me to share. I'm like, sharing in a parliament. <laughs> when we go up on the stairs, he made me, yes, and glory and Jesus and those that, and I'm not a virgin. So yeah, then God, I really got to <laughs> mean, warm to come talk. In, uh, yeah, because I too, yeah. when I hear those things and yeah. I'm like, Jesus, I'm when we don't have them this testimony here. Yeah. You can't have it. So what are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. You pick up mm. yourself yeah, yes. yeah, and you, f and it's not an excuse for you to go and do this again. Mm. What I'm about to say. Yeah. You dive into the love, yeah. the mercy, the steadfastness of God mm -hmm. and you stay there. Yes. And you 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 find verses like, how can I do this mm. and, and sin, sin against my right. God? Hey. You 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 cover yourself. 
yourself and yeah. and you really put it in perspective yeah yeah now it's the last about three minutes and then <laughs> done and all these things but what happens <laughs> next? next and yeah. there are people who will condemn you yeah mm -hmm. and i'm sure persons you know when they hurt well i think i think what god did then mm -hmm. he provided a safe space mm -hmm. at that time yeah. Um, it was hard, you know, going to tell my parents and you yeah. know, all these things and so forth. But he provided, and it was the right time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and so you have to know when is the right time to say certain mm -hmm. things. True. But, True. but for any person mm -hmm. who has fallen, are you then saying mm -hmm. that the grace of God is not good enough mm -hmm. to cover that sin? That the mercy yes. of God is and not to lift you back up and to lift you back and to redeem you. Yeah. Yeah. Restore you. Jesus. You put yourself in that yes. place and you think. Was this worth it? Yes. Um, am I gonna go there again? You have to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. And then you 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 have accountability. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have somebody that you can say, boy, I mean I feel weak right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, you know, because mm -hmm. the guy nice yeah. and the girl nice and this mm -hmm. and that. And you have that conversation and you purpose in your heart, no, it not happening. No, it don't have to But, but Nadi, what I find sometimes is that we don't know how to be real to our own selves. Mm -hmm. And then and, we'll and really we camouflage with the hair mm -hmm. and the makeup and mm -hmm. the men we probably and the wig. And, 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 <laughs> yeah, man, bless the Lord. <laughs> but, but yeah, 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 but that we boys don't know talk again. Really this oh we are cultured and yeah. what people are going to say and we're afraid of what people are going to say yeah. yes yeah. it's all about our life living for other people but you have to know who you are in yes. christ mm -hmm. and know that that's why everything that we are saying every single problem is going to come down to mm -hmm. and this is first for the christians yeah. what is your relationship with god i was about Hallelujah. to say that the relationship mm -hmm. with god when you have that relationship with God and you run, you pursue him. And there's a song I wrote that says, all that you are or want is all that I want. I'm surrendering my all. It became in my song when I read it. But it, it, it was talking about pursuing God so that when people see you, they see Christ. And I don't want to sound like all holy and all and everything because things will happen. The feelings are going to come. Of the course. thoughts are going to come. Of course. What are you going to do? Yeah. Remember what we just what? said? And this is why we have to be one real with self. And one real with real yourself. Real. We have no other place to go but to God. Yeah. To God. But yeah. to God. Yeah. And you're so true because the truth be told, growing up, there are so many things that I don't know about you. I always thought that was just so wrong. Mm -hmm. Just so, so wrong. Mm -hmm. You learn to come up like you're going to rebuke the feelings. Yeah. Then instead of the dealing blood with them, the blood of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. 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 I like or everything something is wrong with you because yeah. you have this feeling and the person over there don't have it. But they have it, but yeah. they're just not they're not saying, saying right, right. 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 And, and so you find that sometimes people fall and instead of being redeemed, they just walk away from mm -hmm. God. Wow. Yeah. Because yeah. they feel that like they can't live the life serving God mm -hmm. while being single. Yeah. Yes. But and the word of the Lord yeah. also says, he yeah. not only forgave the sin, yeah. mm -hmm. but he forgave the guilt Amen. of the sin, the yeah. feeling yeah. of guilt, yeah. the, the, that internal thing that rises when the condemnation that comes from Satan. Right, your man. Yeah. 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 Where are you going? Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Last week, um, a friend of mine, she invited somebody to church to her church um, the week before. This week, the person sent her a message and said, boy, they can't come back because they fornicate. So they, she sent me, she showed me the, the, the message that the person sent. They are afraid to come back with her to church because they had fornicated. So we know the, the That's condemnation. demon of yeah. Just you're, you're, not, you're not worthy to go into God's presence. You're not you're not good enough. Look how dare you fall. Imagine God is trying to clean you up and you yeah. fall. Where are you going? And I said, No man, just show them some love yeah. and just tell them that God, yes, he did something wrong against God, but God doesn't hold him hold yeah. it against him. Just love upon him and show him the love of God. Yeah. And that will pull him yeah. back to church and and the, 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 that's why i mentioned at the beginning of this part of the discussion yeah. that we have to be careful of not going you know say god won't forgive me so i'm going to plan mm -hmm. and i'm going to fall mm -hmm. you don't plan and fall god know you are premeditating premeditating <laughs> Pre <-meditating. laughs> right so oh when you come to him with a, a broken and a contrite heart 
we will not despise you. I'm mm -hmm. going to turn you away. Yeah. So for somebody who's watching right now and you're looking and, and everybody and you're looking at, oh, all these people don't have any problem, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Whether married or single. And everybody <laughs> has yeah, a, something that they're facing. Mm -hmm. I, I was talking the other day and I talked about Kirk Franklin. Yeah. And I said, just the other day, this whole thing blew up with Kirk Franklin and his son. Mm -hmm. And we're, some people probably going, wow, Kirk Franklin, he's just got it all together. Indo got it all together. Mm -hmm. But he's singing songs like, I smile, mm -hmm. even when I heard it, see, I smile. And he's singing songs that are blessing people mm -hmm. and lifting people out of dark moments. And he was all even this while time having his own facing the dark, mm -hmm. the dark moments. What was T.D. Jakes thinking? Yeah. And in the day I preach, all of a sudden in that time. Everybody yes. has something that they're facing, whether it's individual mm -hmm. or something to do with their immediate family. So don't think that, yeah. oh, they're so perfect. Yeah. They're all the way perfect. Yeah, man, in God's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. But come with your imperfections. Right. Come with your, your yeah. failures. Come yeah. with, but just be real yeah. with yourself yeah. and real with God. And, and embrace where you are at. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that is important. And that's what I like about you, Nadine. You just embrace where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> For now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I see our mother jumping. <laughs> I know what you want to say, but we're not ready for it. We're ready for it. I say remember it when now. I jumped up and went yeah. to Paris. Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure there are couples that just jump up and do that. But yeah. at the moment, I had a choice. I had a decision. I could just get up and say, I go to Paris. Yeah. Never forgot. I said, honey, I made your dinner today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and there's, there's goodness in that too. Yeah. But there are so many things that you can do yeah. where you are as a single person. Mm -hmm. Embrace it yeah. and, and just yeah. remember it is bloom where you are. are. Yes. Yeah, bloom yeah. where you are. Mm -hmm. Do be your be the best you mm -hmm. where you are. Yeah. yeah. But what are some of the highs and lows of, of being single for you? It, we never just uh, talk it, about it, oh. we, we want more. We want more. Yeah. yeah. Um well, highs and lows. Well, highs, as I mentioned about Paris. You know, yeah, she can yeah, just yeah, get up, get up and, yeah, yeah, do that. You, but you anything that, that stepped down or that you know stands out for you? That was it for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, there's so much that I've been able to do. Yeah. In in 2000, yeah, I should have been married. Yeah. And yeah. tell us about yes, that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But no one here what should have been. What happened? Yeah. Well, when you the 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 man, walk up and down in a New York yeah. and, and couldn't find his dress and then No, no, no back up, back up a little bit. <laughs> 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 that's a long time and that's before I was that's I thought you were going to say before you were born. Before you were born. <laughs> That particular that well, scenario, scenario yeah. but because yeah. you would have started dating, how you met? Oh, I mean, we're not good because we don't marry. Yeah. I, 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 it was okay. So you moving to almost get married? Yeah. So you were so engaged. We, we were engaged. About, it um, was someone I, I needed yeah. at the time. I was doing a lot of country runs, yeah. and I needed um, company to drive me and so forth. So I said to one of my friends, I need somebody to drive me to the yeah. country and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then the person said, here is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I went with, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, and I just kept I going on all these was nice. country. No, 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 yeah. Yeah. no, no, that's no, 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 we would go, we would go to different events I had and all of that. So then I was handsome. Oh, yeah, 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 man. What is this? Sweet you talk. Know, you know, I'm not playing with that. <laughs> anyway. Lyrics in my But, but you know, it wasn't, no, 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 but it wasn't really about that, you know. <clears throat> because for me, yeah. being able to hold a good conversation yeah. and, and just talk about life and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that's important for me. Everybody mm -hmm. has their love language. That's right. one of mine. Just be able to, to talk. I said to somebody mm -hmm. once, then when we get old and I'm not I You know, you, we, we have to be able to, to have yeah, a conversation yeah, and, you know, yeah, yeah. even if it's foolishness, we agree that a few with foolishness mm -hmm. we are talking about that, yeah, you know? Yeah. So that was one of the things that I really admired. Yeah. And um, we, 
just developed into a, a beautiful relationship. He was a good friend. He still is a friend, and I, he's now married mm -hmm. with children. And so, respectfully, you know, we probably hail each other once at two years or something like that. Um, but I remember two weeks leading up, cake, the, the, the fruit mm -hmm. for the cake, for the cake, yeah. the so clean and mm -hmm. everything, invitations, old mm -hmm. wedding dress, buy, mm -hmm. I mean, the whole thing. And I, I was so on and you here. went to New York to buy the dress. Went to New York, walk up and down, I tired your friend. <laughs> yeah. Until somebody said, oh, David, ride all over there, over the bridge. And we went over there and I walked in. I was like, oh, my God. I can imagine. Say yes to the dress. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. It was something. But, yeah. um, and I'll tell you the story about the dress, too. I yeah. had, I don't remember how many dresses. And the last dress I put on, mm. that was it. And, uh, but, but, but I came back and two weeks before, he had been away for a while, yeah. leading up, and I think we kind of grew apart or something, I don't know. But, but we, we spoke, and we said, let's put this on hold. Yeah. He said, okay. So we put it on hold. So, so meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> it's it's in <laughs> we just never, and I didn't realize how much it affected me mm -hmm. until... Um, I, I, I don't remember how long after I went to Gen Care yeah. to do uh, one massage. massage. Mm -hmm. So them boys, really uh, you know. <laughs> when, look, when we're going up there, you know, at the time, may her soul rest in peace, Mrs. Samu, yeah. that beautiful woman. Yes, yeah, And um, oh, it, that day, four people, four ladies came in the room because mm -hmm. they said, Auntie Nadine, come bear jokes, we're going to get now. And thing, but I wasn't laughing, I, you know, and they were like, Auntie Nadine, what happened? Uh, I said, you know, yeah. And they were there, when I rubbed his foot, foot her hand and thing. And I just burst into tears. Mm -hmm. I just ball, I ball, I ball. And I, it, mm -hmm. it, it was a form of relief, mm -hmm. you know? And it was a few years ago that I heard that he had that kind of a reaction as well. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it's been a hard journey. It was a hard journey then. Yeah. But I've grown to realize that there are so it was a, it's right to move. Yeah. And there are so many things that I have gotten the chance to do mm -hmm. that if I was married, he would have to have been like the mm -hmm. partner in, yes. in the ministry. ministry. Yeah, yes. because yes. there are so many things. Yeah. And as you said, in the in that time of waiting and wondering, is it gonna happen again? And da 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 I began to pray. Pour. Pour and I was said, God pour into me. And as yeah, I like, poured into me, mm -hmm. I poured ah, out. Yes. And I want the Lord to continue to use Hallelujah. me yes, for Lord. His glory, yes. for, to help so many persons. Mm -hmm. When I look at the Holy for Perpetual prayers mm -hmm. all over the place and, and going into high schools and the church. Mm -hmm. the yes. that you have. Look yes. here, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you now, God is bigger than Ooh, all of me. Yes, Jesus. Let me tell you, and when we I think jump up and down. <laughs> <laughs> when we think, when we think he's finished with me. Yes. When we think that boy, you know, in a love the way I make certain mm -hmm. things happen. It is for our good. Oh, our good. Yeah. That's so Because, true. I mean, Nadine, I'm looking at you, and you're looking mm -hmm. so fabulous. Thank you very much. You know, I listen to you on the radio, and I mean, I remember one morning just texting and said, Nadine, that song wow. really blessed my heart. And and this is what our lives aren't to be about. But a lot of times, they no, 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 we get this thing that we have a marriage, we have children, we have yeah. a house. I mean, I'm not saying it's those things are not. It, yeah, yeah, it's it always grown. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 I, I should have been married at 21. I yeah. suppose I have a boy, then a girl, yeah. then a boy yeah. and girl. Yeah. 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 I had a long yeah. list. He should be tall, yeah. this, that, yeah. that, that. Exactly. Mm -mm. But life oftentimes doesn't happen yeah. that way. But right. we have to trust God. And right. that is what I'm hearing from you. Mm -hmm. How much you just rest in him. Yes. You know? yes. yes, and just say, God, may just allow you to just direct my path. Mm -hmm. So how did you pick up the pieces? What were the step by step? I don't remember. I got to know. That was 2000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've never, ever thought of this. Perpetual praise started in 2002. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. And the vision came in 2000. Oh mm -hmm. my God, I never even yeah, to bring it out. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I never even put that timeline. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I was at church one morning. I don't remember the month though, to be honest. But I was at church one morning leading worship. And 
I was there leading worship and the deacon come and pull my shirt. What is she done? You see, I finished. And I sat down and I was like, Lord, you want us to do more. Because mm -hmm. with me now, see, if you have to, you have to follow order. Mm -hmm. So if a deacon says so and you feel in your belly that mm -hmm. God wants to do more, it's not your church. Mm -hmm. You to, oh. So I sat down and I had the conversation with the Lord right there. And I was like, God, what do you want me to do? And he said, start a non-stop worship event mm. yeah. and I was like okay mm. but let me sit down there and they started mm. till I think it was later that year if not the following year yeah. I went to Nashville for gospel music week mm. and there was Michael W. Smith doing what God had mm. shown me so and told me so right. Nigel was with me I was like Nigel that's what God wants me to do you better hurry up <laughs> Nigel was like the good grandfather. Well, you better hurry up and do it. And so in 2002, so, yeah. Perpetual Praise was birthed. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's still running, running and yeah. strong. Yeah. Yeah. 20th anniversary. Wow. 2022. Yeah. 2022. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of lives changed. Yeah. Impact. Wow. Oh, gee. Wow. And God glorified. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Out of your life. So you want yeah. to cry. Yeah. 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 I never yeah. realized the timeline yeah. because it was the, yeah. the year. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. But, but sometimes when we think we're at our lowest is when we're at our strongest, yeah. but we just don't know. Yeah. Because that's when God can really speak to us yeah. and can really use us yeah. when we become so broken mm -hmm. before right. him. Yeah. And, and I mean, I, I know I can identify not in necessarily with your um, same scenario, but just being broken by God, just by a negative or a bad mm -hmm. experience. So God just, as I said, pick up the pieces, yeah. pull it together and just push you. Because the truth be told, even talking to it was brought from a place of just going to God and wow. just crying to him. And he said, Dan, talk, start a talk. I'm saying, me? Wow. <laughs> you know? And just to see what he has been doing, it's just amazing that we can just run to God, yeah. you know, and even when we don't run to him, he will run to us, right, you know, right. and just allow us to, to just walk in purpose, because funny enough, you go all the way to Nashville, mm -hmm. look where God sent you, yes. to those three say, listen, that could be That's you in a day, yeah. Yeah. and look at you 20 years later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You still have to trust the man with the plan. Amen. The man yeah. with the Jeremiah 29 yeah. verse. <laughs> yes, you have to trust him with the plan. Yeah. And we understand that whatever happens is not a surprise to God. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a surprise to God. Yes. He, he knew that it was going to happen. Yes. And that is why when things happen, you run back to the one with the plan. Ah. Because he knew all along. So all right then, God, this has happened. What are you? What do you want me to do? Yeah. Where do you want me to go? So it, 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 it's painful. Yeah. But you have to just see God as your source and mm -hmm. only source. And he's the one who will say, all right, then I put a stop right here, but there is a go wow. somewhere else. And Amen. Go where God decides. <laughs> Amen. To go. Hallelujah. God, nice. Amen. 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 He is. But you, you know, when we started the program, Nadine and Marshall, you, we started with your poem. Yes. Mm -hmm. on singleness. What led you? And I want you to finish the poem in a moment. Yes, yes. <laughs> finish the poem. It's so beautiful. But what led you first to actually write that poem? I think it was my conference. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was in 2008. Mm -hmm. And um, I was doing a series of, of conferences. Mm -hmm. And I think that year, that probably was the year that I was doing Don't Let Your Weight Become yeah. a Weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, my experiences, yeah. you know, um, I felt like when I was doing the series that I too wanted to get answers. Yeah. I too wanted to learn. And, and how I am as a media person, that if, if I want to learn, if I want to grow, somebody else out there is mm -hmm. feeling yeah. the same way. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, I'm gifted with that. I write poems and I wrote a book. Yes, during COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so um, much things are going to do with it. <laughs> yes. I'm going to prepare the house. Oh, <laughs> right here. Yeah. 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 He's, He's watching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, God knows. Yes. 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 He has a way. Yes. So, yes. I want you to read that poem. I want you to okay. finish read that poem because I, I just love the part about waiting and uh, the attitude. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I wait. Finding myself in the meantime, I wait. Mm. Finding myself mm. in the meantime, I wait. Searching the mirror for signs of yesterday that have become 
heavy weight. Leaving myself at God's beck and giving him my all, a surgical procedure necessary to withdraw the baggage, the masks, the unfinished tasks that led me to meddling relationships left unsettled. God, as I wait, do what you must. Move me from faith in the waiting to simple trust. For I cannot proceed until this need to be who you've called me to be is in my heart and mind understood, my purpose, my place. You are working for my good. Mm. And what if you choose who in my eyes I don't desire? What if you've called me to walk alone on this mire? What if the weight becomes longer and brings grace to my head? As a lesson for me to learn unfolds, what if I see my own way out instead? Mm, yeah. What if the pain is too much to explain? No one may want me and my past to bear. What if my what ifs come in the way and block my heart from what I need to hear? Then you say, if only I be still. Don't let your weight become a weight. Mm. Pray until. You say the lesson is bigger than the blessing, so now I must focus on what I may be missing. It is in you that I stand complete. It is in you I have all I need. It yeah. is in you I am ready to face my purpose, my destiny, my place, and so I wait. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I Hallelujah. love when you say, yes. and so I wait. There is just a smile that the wait yes. is no longer a wait, wait for you. Yes. Yes. And I know you wrote this, what, 2008? Yeah. This is 12 years after. And I don't, what, 12? No. 14, 14, February, March. <laughs> 14 years. And I see the attitude yeah. has changed. Oh, God just shifted you yeah. from where you were in 2008 yeah. 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 to, to, to yeah. now. Yeah. And we see the bloom. Yeah. And we just want to give God thanks. God good. For that, but I know you desire to be married, Nadine. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah, are you dating now? The, what name for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Is she blushing? I'm sweating. <laughs> Let me fix my wig. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm not dating now. Mm. Any admirers? I'm sure they are. Oh, wow. And I've heard like people will say, like men will say, who oh, you know, like. One particular guy, he got married, and it was after he was married, he came to me and he's like, you know, I always wanted to go with you, but I was afraid. Yeah. Uh, the intimidation. Uh, me, uh, um, you know, I take off my, my horns. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't go out with them. <laughs> you know, but I know being a Blair, yes. being a pastor's kid, mm -hmm. you know, being... In who you are, you know, who I am. accomplished. I remember I met a guy okay. once and he was like, wow, the powerful Nadine, blessed. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting there going, well, what do you mean by that, sir? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know... Darren, yeah. I would love to. Yeah. Um, sometime when I get home, I'm so tired. I'd love somebody to rub my foot. Mm -hmm. That could have been children or husband mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or a sister. Hi, Paula. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it's not there. Yeah. And so I talk about, mm -hmm. you know, going to rub my parents' feet. Mm -hmm. yes. And I'm going... My foot in my hurt, you know. <laughs> Thank you, mommy, for all the nine months. <laughs> you know. But what am I going to do? Yeah. I can choose to sit and go, Mar, why may I tell you life just rough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody have them somebody and mm -hmm. yeah. or I can choose to mm -hmm. it would really be nice to have somebody. Mm -hmm. Anyway. God, I just love you and yes, I just thank you and amen, amen. And amen. Because they are going, that's what, what, what we said first and what mm -hmm. we've been saying. It is so real. Mm -hmm. The thoughts are going to come. Mm -hmm. Please do not, when you talk, come and take up your coffee and you say, here, come, come, thought. Come. Mm -hmm. What are you saying to me? I should take feel bad. Take the pillow and mm -hmm. rock the thought and say, oh, yes, really? You should have a mm -hmm. man or a woman and say, yeah. no, it will come. Yeah. But what you do, you capture that yeah. and put it to the holy obedience yeah. of Christ. Yeah. That's yeah. what the word says. Yes, all the thought captive. You hold it captive and yeah. put that thought to the obedience of Christ. We are in, I love to listen to Apostle Joshua Selman. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, life is spiritual.
spiritual. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of what we face and, and happen to us and everything, mm -hmm. oh, you know what I'm saying? Enemy stand up and I'll be spending it. Right there. Right, right there. Oh, come here, darling. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going to try this. And yeah. Just yeah. pick up the next man who come mm -hmm. out, the next woman. Just lock it, yeah. Just lock it, yeah. Just lock it, yeah. And everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, honey. No, mm -hmm. you better than that. And when you, when, when he, when the enemy sees the desperation, oh, yes. he bends them in on. Yes. yes. But when you're, when you're, when you're rested in God, you have yeah. less of the temptations. Yes. But when you're desperate, man, yeah. as soon as the bell rings, yeah. there is one. And and in psychology, would say what causes the desperation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is it? And at the heart of root, what is that? Fear, yeah. Fear of being alone. Fear of 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 you know just what what others have to say. Yeah, and all of that. So here comes the word. God never give you that fear. No, no, no. He never gave you that fear. So where you pick up from? Yeah. God gave you power. God gave you love. God gave you a sound mind, self control, and self discipline. Yes. So when that fear talk comes. As Joshua Selman would say, when the fear comes mm -hmm. and then you hug up the fear and you, you, mm -hmm. you yeah. nurse it, mm -hmm. then the fear says, Come depression, mm -hmm. come suicide, anxiety. come this anxiety, mm -hmm. come and then all the others come and sit down and pack up your house. Mm -hmm. Let and it go. You don't, and you yeah, don't, and you can't let it go. purpose. Let no. it go. Because you are so loaded with all yes. of these things. Weighing you yes. down. You can't be your best self. And it is so funny that. Um, Sometimes some persons are single mm -hmm. because they allow all of these things to, to come upon them, yes. and then now they can't get anybody. Can nobody know why? That. Well, that is a, but the thing I was going to say because while winning being single is how do you prepare yourself? For mm -hmm. for the next for the next yeah. dating engagement. Me and, is and very bad at dating. <laughs> My sister would be like, you need to go out. I say, yes, I go out. I go to church. <laughs> I go to concerts. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, yeah, but you're on the stage, yeah. you know. But yeah, go out, do yeah. things, meet yeah. people. Prepare yourself. Prepare yeah. yourself. Learn how right. to cook. You Learn know. how to cook. Take care of your house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Read books. <laughs> But can't drink some air coffee tea in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very <laughs> You know, just d develop you. And yeah. that was one of the, the, yeah. the sessions we had yeah. in, the, in the conferences. Yeah. Work on you. Mm. Yeah. Go mm. study something or, you know, develop you. Yeah. And and I want to talk to yeah. men yeah. as well who are single. And, and I know with men, you know, if, if you don't have it all together, if, if a man doesn't have enough money, and, and to be able to provide for his family or just, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes they may feel less than. Uh, yeah. And I want to encourage our I want you to man. talk. No, man, I want you to speak, Nadine, because <laughs> it's something that weighs heavily on Mark and I, yeah. heart, that a lot of times men tend to feel inadequate. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You don't have to yeah. be inadequate because God created you for bigger oh, and yeah. better. Yeah. He created you as a priest. Mm -hmm. He put something in you yes. to speak to your country. Mm -hmm. So whether you're watching this, whether it's Jamaica or wherever, mm -hmm. he put something yeah. in you to order what is happening in the atmosphere. Life is virtual. He yes. put something in you, man, yeah. to take yeah. your authority Hallelujah. and speak Speak to I the know. storms yeah. that come up yeah. on the on your country, in yeah. your community, mm -hmm. in your church, and yes. if you're married in your home, yes. he put it in you. Now, yeah. what the enemy will do mm -hmm. is say to you, "You're not good enough. Cause you're not having a car. You're not having yeah. this. You're not having that." What you have, you have breath. Then you hey, have God. And Jesus. if you recognize mm. who you are, oh, one God. of the most nicest things, yeah. I went broke out in a yeah, man. but one of the most nicest things <laughs> for me as a woman is to see a man yeah. who knows who he is yeah. and knows his God. I so the best yeah. thing that you yeah. can ever do for a lot of women, we just are weird to mm -hmm. see one man who knows him God. Yeah, we just are weird to see one in yeah, them God, not, not, not proud no, enough, no, no, but no, no, confident no. in their God, Hallelujah. confident in their purpose yeah. as a God man on yeah. this earth. Mm -hmm. So men, we love you, yeah, mm -hmm. we respect you, yes. and let me talk now to the women, don't talk down to the men then. Yes, so true. Don't disrespect them. them. Mm -hmm. I went to one of the conferences, the MEC time something, one of the <laughs> conferences that I went to in Nashville. Out of all our conferences, we will go. Yeah. This is one message that I'll never forget. Yeah. At the top of the, the clock hour, yeah. 
the man shows a woman love, yeah. the woman will show the man respect. Yes. yes. The man shows a woman, and it just grows. So, mm -hmm. as long as we women yes. learn to respect, respect. Come on, our men, men whether yes. we're single yeah. or we're married or yeah, whatever, man. do not mm -hmm. talk down to your men. Mm -hmm. Some of them may look like how oh, they are, how they kind of see this. It may look like you need to just talk to them hard, mm -hmm. but when you talk to them hard, respect. love, respect, respect. In respect. respect. In respect. respectfully, yeah, man. Yes. Yes. and trust me, it may go on. Uh, uh, respect you. See, when they go on the corner, yeah, mm -hmm. why the lady respect me? So better, better, yes. better. Let's yeah. do true, that. True, true, yes. And yes. for the men. Just show us a little love. Just, you know, we do work for me sometimes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, you know, I Thank you. Yes, yes. Use yes. Yes. Nice yes. 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 We like it here. Yes. And we are watching too. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember one of the guys in the conference said, men know what they want. Yes. True? That's true. True. When That's he true. said that, we women yes. don't know, you know. Yes. But so men, men know what they men want. Men know what they want. When you yes. say it, you know, we get free. Yes. yes. So, but yeah. But be strong. Hallelujah. Know who you are. Yeah, uh, we'll just say, we keep saying it, but at the heart of everything, mm -hmm. know who you are. Man, woman, boy, girl, yes. know who you are. One more thing. How much time? Come on, man. <laughs> my father, my father, when, when my father shared this, you hear me? And what I mean about that? <laughs> my father, when he was going into college, yeah. he said, Lord, you know who my wife is. I ask you please to put her down and to keep her in your care. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Then he go to college for four years. Uh -huh. Then he go work and save up your money. Uh -huh. And then when he don't know, he come back. God, remember how me did oxy pick up my wife? <laughs> my oxy plea. He was so focused yes. on being the best, the best. Mm. where he was, he was yeah. and fulfilling his purpose. Mm. And then when he go back now, six years later or five, he said, God, where part are she? And <laughs> God said, God said, she is Yvonne. He said, Yvonne, okay. And we'll move you on. know how much I break my father miss out pan mm -hmm. because he chose so to, to put God here and say, God, I trust you to yeah. do the picking yeah. for me. Yeah. Look here. Oh no, don't bother with it. Yeah. Make God do it. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. And Marsha, we say we saying right now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> let God pick for us. Yes. 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 Right, right now, now God. Jesus. Wherever he is. <laughs> yes, yes Lord. Oh my if it's God. Trinidad, we're trying. Aye. If it's Jamaica, we're trying. If it's Diana, we're trying. Mm. Where's Winnie? Where's Winnie? Let him wow. call him. Let him call him. Wow. Let him call him. Sir, thank you. Yes. yes. Lord, hear their cry. We come in agreement. Oh, my God. God, you are God of agreement. Yes. We join now, right now, with the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And together we say, Amen. 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 And the words of two or three agree to yes. anything. Turning them easy in the midst. And we can feel him. God has made today. I'm going to give you one minute, Nadine. What's next for you? You're winning as a single woman wow. of God. What's well, next? guess what? Yes. Um, the 20, 2022, yeah. at the time of this taping, 2022, Perpetual Praise 20th anniversary, so there's a lot happening there. But out of a conference that I was just at, yeah. the Lord says, youth. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, he put me upon youth. Mm -hmm. So I have to do a youth conference. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to talk about that. And that's another thing. When you bring your back and, 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 and more books. Yes, yes. And just serving. I yeah. love it. I love, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So, bloom. Yes. yes, we're planted. Continue to Continue serve God. To yes. Continue yes. to enjoy and to win, yes. you know, in, in your singleness. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Nadine, for joining us today on Talking Truth. It's really a pleasure, right, Marsha? Oh, yes. To just hear you. Just Super pleasure. Oh, to share your experience yeah. and to just talk truth. Yes. That's right. Right, <laughs> you know, talk the truth and God loves truth. So we want to say thank you to our viewing audience for watching Talking Truth yet another time. And please share your feedback with us. Our information is at the bottom of the screen. So I'm Diane Hansen, and with me, as usual, is Marcia the lovely Marsha Wade. Thank you for joining us today on Talking Truth. God bless you. Thank you for watching with us another episode of Talking Truth. Join us next week as we explore another hot topic as we talk truth. Is the truth 
is talking truth, bringing truth to life.